Ice has been known to be a great tool when it comes to preserving things. That's why you have your freezer where you can keep most of your food for a long time without having to worry about it going bad. But ice is not only good to preserve food, it's also helped preserve and protect some very important things from the past. This includes animals. In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 mammals that were preserved in ice. Number 10. Foxes. We start our list with a mammal that many of us are familiar with, the fox. This animal is not prehistoric, and many of them are around today, and heck, some people even adopt them as pets. Sadly, foxes are also some of the most common animals that you can find trapped in ice. This is because many of them live in the coldest parts of our planet, and a lot of them love to go fishing. So it shouldn't surprise you that some of them get carried away while they're looking for fish and end up frozen in just a matter of seconds. If they don't get immediate help, their whole body gets covered in ice. One of the most famous photos is one of a fox that was found in Germany by a hunter along the shores of the Danube River. When the photo began circulating the web, people were concerned, but they soon realized this type of incident is very common among foxes. Number 9. The Two Moose Another animal that's very common in cold places is the moose. This mammal is so big and strong that you think it could easily get away from getting frozen like the foxes. But unfortunately, there have been some moose who froze in very odd circumstances. In this particular picture, you can see two moose who froze right in the middle of a fight. No one could offer a solid explanation as to what happened, but people had all sorts of theories. Some of them believe that the moose got caught by an avalanche that didn't give them enough time to move, and other people think that they were actually not fighting. Instead, they fell in the freezing water and tried to swim to get away from it, which is what makes them look as if they were fighting. No one can say for sure what happened to them, but the one thing we do know is that they were found in Alaska during a hiking trip. Number 8. Celerican Pony You've heard of ponies, but I bet you haven't heard about the Celerican Pony. And that's because this mammal lived on Earth about 35,000 years ago. It is said that this animal probably only lived between 7 to 8 years, which is very young compared to others. And how do we know so much about this ancient pony? Well, back in 1968, a group of gold miners found a pair of legs and a tail inside a long tunnel that they were digging underneath some frozen ground around Yakutia, which is in Russia. When experts came to remove the body, they found out that it was a type of Przewalski's horse. As of today, this type of wild horse can only be seen in Mongolia. Its prehistoric Russian relative has been extinct for thousands of years, but thanks to this frozen finding, we can learn more about it. The interior of the body showed a full stomach, which indicates that the death was quick. And based on the position in which they found the pony, they concluded that the animal died after getting stuck in some wetlands. Number 7. Cave Lions of Siberia Speaking of Yakutia, there are more discoveries that were made in this part of the world. After all, Russia is so cold and full of ice that we shouldn't be surprised by all the mysteries the landscape keeps giving us. In 2015, a group of scientists found two Eurasian lion cubs in Yakutia. The lions were twins and they died at a very young age. But it wasn't the ice that killed them. Apparently, it was actually the collapsing of the cave in which they were found. It's surprising to see that their bodies remain in such good condition because it seems like they walked on Earth more than 20,000 years ago, during a time in which this part of the world wasn't as cold as it is today. According to history, the Eurasian lion is the largest lion that has ever existed. So these two little cubs had so much potential, but they died before they reached adulthood. While the species has been extinct for thousands of years, the discovery of these lions can certainly help us learn more about them. Number 6. The Tumat Puppy just like many of the mammals that we're mentioning today, the Tumat Puppy also gets its name from the place where it was found. Tumat is a village inside the Saka Republic, which is of course in Russia. The place is extremely cold and is covered with permafrost throughout the year. But this is the place where some people found a puppy back in 2015. They say it's a species of dogs that are now extinct. In fact, the species is so old, they say that these dogs lived around 12,000 years ago. And I know a lot of you love dogs, so you might find it sad that this type of dog has gone extinct, and also that this one has been frozen, but I wouldn't be too sad just yet. It's said that the dog was so well preserved that scientists might be able to use its DNA to bring the species back to life. Pretty exciting! And a bit freaky too, I'm getting Jurassic Park vibes from it. Number 5. The Yucca Mammoth While this mammal has been extinct since the last Ice Age, many of us are very familiar with it. I'm talking about the Mammoth, an animal that you've probably seen in tons of movies and documentaries, even though the last Ice Age was more than 3,000 years ago. 
And when it comes to the Yucca Mammoth, which was discovered in Russia in 2014, its existence dates back to more than 30,000 years ago. What makes Yucca so special is the fact that its brain is almost intact, which is not the case with other prehistoric animal fossils that have been found. Thanks to this, scientists have been able to study the animal's brain and they concluded that it's very similar to present-day elephants. And just like the Tumop puppy, the Yucca Mammoth could also be brought back to life in the near future. Number 4. Kolima Woolly Rhinoceros Even though the woolly rhino is one of the most common large animals in Eurasia, we've only found a handful of their remains in the last couple of years. These have been found in different corners of the world, from the easternmost side of Siberia to the British Isles in the west. It's evident that the woolly rhino's home was not limited to only a small portion of our planet. One of the most important discoveries happened back in 2007 when a group of gold miners found the fossils of a female woolly rhino in Yakutia. Because, of course, Yakutia is the place to be if you want to find random animals frozen in ice. It's estimated that the specimen found in Yakutia weighed about 1.5 tons. It also had a thick layer of fur and skin, a short tail covered in fur, and ears that are very similar to those who have been depicted in cave paintings. The remains of this rhino help scientists understand that perhaps the reason the animal went extinct was that the rhino's short legs struggled when higher temperatures brought an increase of dropped snow. Number 3. The Tardigrade. This animal is pretty strange. So strange that some people go as far as claiming that the creature comes from outer space. Some people call them water bears, others call them space bears, and some even call them moss piglets. These animals are considered to be some of the most resilient creatures in the world. They were first spotted in 1773 and they've been found in mud volcanoes, rainforests, and the upper atmosphere of our planet, and of course, inside huge pieces of ice from Antarctica. What's impressive about the tardigrade is that it can survive some of the most catastrophic events and the harshest temperatures ever known to man. They can take more radiation than us, and they can also survive asteroids and other impacts that could easily kill a human being. In fact, the tardigrades can go dead for 30 years, shrink a little, and then come back to life with more strength to grow and reproduce. No wonder people think that these guys come from outer space. And now it's time for the day's best pick. The cow, the buffalo, and the bison are all from the same biological family. It is called the Bovidae family, and the picture I chose for today shows one of these creatures frozen in a huge chunk of ice in front of a clueless explorer who just happened to walk by it. Next on our list, we have an animal from the Bovidae family, and its discovery was of great importance for the scientific community. Let's check it out with number two, the Yukajir bison. The bison can be an intimidating creature, but I don't think any of the current day specimens of this species compares to their prehistoric relative. The Yukajir bison is an example of a family of animals that were about 2 meters tall and weighed anything between 500 and 600 kilos. They had large curved horns and they look way more intimidating than the bison we see today. Funny enough, when they actually found this one, the bison was in a sleeping pose. When they did the radiocarbon testing, they found out that this animal lived more than 10,000 years ago. The DNA of this animal can help scientists find the connection between this ancient species and the North American bison that we all know today. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Humans. The most dangerous hunt, and also something you probably weren't expecting to see on this list, the human species. That's right, our species made the list. Back in the day, the Incan culture had a practice called Capacocha, which entailed the sacrifice of children. According to ancient texts, the children that were considered to be the most beautiful and talented were the chosen ones to be surrendered to Incan gods. This was done as a way to celebrate something, or as a preventative measure against natural disasters. And if you don't believe this story, well, there's some pretty clear evidence that I can prove I'm telling the truth. In 1999, the mummified bodies of three children were found by a volcano in South America. Since the bodies were frozen, they were very well preserved, but they were found right on time, right before the summer heat decomposed them forever. When experts studied the bodies, they came to the conclusion that the children had been drugged before offering them as sacrifices. They were carried to the top of the volcano where they probably died of hypothermia about 500 years ago. Today, these mummies are on display at the High Mountain Archaeology Museum in Argentina. After hearing of all these stories, it's clear that eyes can pretty much preserve anything. 
even humans. And it seems like these discoveries are going to help scientists learn more about the connections between the past and our present. Pretty exciting, huh? Which of these frozen animal stories was your favorite? Have you ever used eyes to preserve something aside from, well, food? How did it go? Let us know in the comment section down below. With all that said and done, that's our video for today, folks, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody!